Bermuda is like a garden in an ocean and, and the trail you can just see as a, as a walking path to traverse this garden and explore it. Formerly the railway trail, as you might have guessed, had a railway from the early 1900s. After the railway was closed down, it fell into disuse and became overgrown until the 1980s when the government decided that it'd be great to turn it into a national park. The trail was very disconnected and so people could only walk uh, in short sections of the trail. And we saw that if we added bridges at key points that the trail would be a lot more accessible, people could go further, and it'd be better for recreation and for tourists. The Friends Bermuda Railway Trail is a group of individuals and also companies that got together and saw the potential of the trail. We identified five main breaks you would connect the most, kind of the longest and most scenic sections. It's a linear park and so it stretches almost the length of the entire island. My favorite things to do on the trail, Bailey's Bay at sunset is a really beautiful walk. And then if you're in the center of the island, the trail is actually linked to the South Shore beaches, which are Bermuda's most beautiful beaches. So that's a great thing to do. If you like biking, the west end of the trail is excellent for cycling because a lot of the trail surface is paved. The rest of the trail can be rough in spots for cycling, but is fantastic on a gravel bike. When you're looking for where the trail might start, keep an eye out for brown signs with white text that usually will say Bermuda Railway Trail. The best way to find out more information about the trail route is to pick up a copy of a map from the Parks Department or go online and look for the Bermuda Parks Department. And then also there's a great website BermudaRailway.net. The most spectacular part of Bermuda is the natural beauty, and this gives great access. You see the nature of Bermuda in all its glory.